Hey guys, welcome to another Five at Five. You know, this week I wanted to take an opportunity to talk about a new cartoon that's available on Disney Plus and also streaming on the Disney Channel. So this cartoon is Hamster and Gretel. Yes, the Hamster and Gretel that on the FSF podcast we have been talking about for over a year. We have known about this show since we interviewed Dan Povenmire in 2021. So you guys, I wanted to talk about five reasons that you should watch Hamster and Gretel. Number five, superpowers beyond your imagination. It's new superheroes, guys. It's new supervillains. These are characters that we haven't had for 50 years that have had their stories told 100 times over and had multiple reincarnations of. These are brand new superheroes, brand new supervillains. This is all fresh. It's all new. It's all exciting. And we get a one minute backstory instead of multiple remakes of the origin story. Yes, I'm looking at you, Batman, Spider-Man. I am looking at you number four the retro vibe so yes it's got it's got a bit of a retro vibe to it which i love having grown up watching phineas and ferb and loving phineas and ferb i say grown up but it was 15 years ago i was 15 when phineas and ferb came out anyway having the second half of my life so far watching phineas and ferb it's it's not a new and edgy concept it's not a new cartoon made just for adults it's a basic cartoon it's cheesy it's got running gags But the scene transitions with Hamster's face and Gretel's face and the zooming is very 1960s Batman. And I adore that. And yes, running gags. Why does Kevin always get wet? Why not? Number three, Dan Povenmeyer, Josh Pruitt, and Amber Turnquist Hollander are all previous FSF Popcast guests. So like I said, we've known about the show on the on the FSF podcast since we interviewed Dan Povenmire in 2021. They have been working on this show. They have been putting their blood, sweat, and tears into getting this cartoon out for us. They have spent hours upon hours getting storyboards right, animations right, things that I don't understand how they do. They've done it. They have brought us quality content. We should enjoy the show. We should appreciate the effort that they have put forward for us. Show them that we love them. Show them that we appreciate the work that they've done and enjoy the show. Number two, the jokes. Guys, if you've watched anything that Dan Povenmeyer has worked on, you know that you are going to laugh. You know that it is going to be a fun experience. I realized when I was thinking about this, that looking at that after saying that, you know, after watching anything with Dan Povenmeyer, you know that you're going to appreciate it and laugh. I realized though that my favorite jokes all of my favorite jokes are from the episode Math Punch that was written by former guest Josh Pruitt. And I don't know if it's because it it hit me close to home because I was Gretel. I don't like math. I don't want to sit and do math homework. Math is not for superheroes. You can punch things. You don't have to think. Kevin reminding her that physics is just hard math. Her asking why Rodney Thunderpants didn't refer to himself as Lightning Rod are solid, solid jokes, guys. I have watched the first five episodes three or four times, three times already in a week. I don't have a problem. You have a problem. Anyway, and I laughed at those jokes every time. Every time. And number one, the biggest reason that you should watch Hamster and Gretel is the family fun. It is fun for all ages, guys. My almost four-year-old enjoys it. My husband enjoys it. I enjoy it. When my mother-in-law watches it with us, I'm sure she'll enjoy it too. It's just fun, but it's also a family show. And one of the things that I really appreciate with this show is that even though Kevin did not get superpowers, his sister and her hamster did. He has never been envious of her superpowers. He's never been angry about the fact that she got chosen and he didn't. He stepped into the role of the minivan superhero IT, and he has done everything to help his sister and protect his sister and to support her in that new role that she's been given. That's some quality, quality big brother love there. And I think that we need more of that in this world. There are so many negative things tearing us down. We need happy family fun. So guys, that's my five reasons I feel that you should watch the first episodes of Hamster and Gretel. There are, as of now, there are five episodes up on Disney+. Plus. Enjoy them. Laugh at them. Let us know in the comments. Let us know on our page what you think of the episodes, what you think of the jokes. And most importantly, enjoy and have fun. Bye.